Hi, I'm Peter Edwards from Blue Tutors. Um, we teach children of all ages, um, right from primary school to degree level, and we find the highest quality tutors. Um, and today, I'm going to teach you some maths. We're now going to look at how to solve quadratic equations. Um, we're going to look at um, two main ways. Um, we'll also look at how sometimes you can't solve a quadratic equation. Um, and just go through a few examples. So, to start with, I've written one of the most simple equations you can get, um, and we're going to solve this by factorising it. Now, when someone says that you should factorise a quadratic equation, what they mean is they want you to put in two brackets, an x there, an x there, and a number here, and a number here such that when you multiply these two brackets out, it is the same as this expression up here. So, how do we choose which number goes here and here? Well, we want these two numbers to multiply together to give us positive 5, and these two numbers to add together to give us negative 6. Um, now, the two numbers which do that are 1 and 5. And you'll notice, because this has to be negative, they have to add together, they both have to be negative. So minus 1 plus minus 5 gives us negative 6. Um, and to check, when you multiply minus 5 with minus 1, you do get positive 5. So, once we're in this, this position, why is that helpful? Well, what we now have is one bracket multiplied by another equals 0. And in that case, there are only two possibilities. Either this bracket here is equal to zero, or this bracket here is equal to zero. If this bracket is equal to zero, we know that x minus one equals zero, and therefore x equals one. If this bracket here is equal to zero, we know that x minus, minus five is equal to zero, and therefore x equals five. So the result of this equation would be to say that x is equal to one or five. Okay, so, that's a way of solving these equations if you can factorise them. And there are many more, um, more difficult uh, factorisations than the one we've just shown. However, there are some occasions when you won't be able to factorise a quadratic equation. And that's when you want to use uh, a formula to find uh, the, two, the two results of an equation. That formula is when we have the quadratic, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the results are equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. So um, we'll, we'll use this equation here again to, to show that that's true. Um, but obviously, if you had this equation, you would normally factorise it. It would be quicker than using this formula. But if we do use this equation again, we can see that x is equal to negative b. Well, in this case, b is negative 6. So negative b is 6. Plus or minus the square root of b squared. b is minus 6. Minus 6 squared is 36. Minus 4 times a, well a is the number in front of the x squared, in this case that's essentially 1, even though it's not written, um, and c, which in this case is 5. And we're dividing all of that by 2a, a was 1, so that's just divided by 2. So this is equal to 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 20 all over 2, which is equal to 6 plus or minus the square root of 16 over 2, which is 3 plus or minus 4 over 2, which is 2, and therefore x is equal to 3 plus 2, which is 5, or 3 minus 2, which is 1. So you can see that we have um, the same result that we had here. 
there is only one possibility when this, uh, this equation won't work. So if you can't factorise it, you can use this equation. If you can't use this equation, then there, there, is, there is a reason that you can't use it, and that will be because b squared is less than 4ac. And when that's the case, it simply means that there are no real results to this equation. Um, and you cannot find um, numbers like 5 or 1 which will, which will solve the equation. And that is how to solve quadratic equations. <laughs>